Hello, this is Mr. Stansberry. I'm going to take you through the 8C notes on factorization of quadratic expressions. So, um, after this you should be able to say I can factor various polynomials. Alright, so um, there's a lot of different examples in here, so um, I'm just going to get at it. And again, hopefully this should all look familiar from advanced algebra and algebra. Okay, so factorize means get common things that are common um, out and bring those out in front. So we're going to factor those out. So the 2x squared and the 3x both have an x in common. So um, one way to look at this is I've uh, shown people before and this seems to be helpful is I say okay I, I can get an x out of both of these. So I'm going to divide both of these by x. And since I'm dividing both of these by x I'm going to put this x here out in front. So 2x squared divided by x leaves us with 2x and then 3x over x just leaves us with 3. So this factorized is x times 2x plus 3. Now if you think about it, if you distribute this x back through, x times 2x is 2x squared, and x times 3 is 3x. So you end up getting back what you started with. Okay. So um, it would be a great idea on this uh, video that if at any point you feel like, okay, I think I've got this, um, if I were you, I would pause it before I go to the second one and then try it out on your own first and then check and see if we got the same answers. Okay, So this one here, um, these also both have an x in common and then also if you notice 2 and 6 both have a 2 in common so you can factor actually a 2x out of both of these. So when I divide 2x squared by 2x the 2's reduce out and one of the x's reduce out so we just end up with x and then we have minus and then 6 and 2 reduces down to 3 and then the x's reduce out so you just get 2x times x minus 3 okay alright next set of examples factorize x minus 5 squared minus 2 times x minus 5 okay this is kind of a weird looking one but if you'll notice they both actually have factors of x minus 5 so I'm gonna pull an x minus 5 out of both of these. So let's back up and do this. So both of these can be div divided by x minus 5. All right. So when I do that, again I pull the x minus 5 out front. And then when I take x minus 5 squared over x minus 5, that reduces one of these out. So I'm just left with x minus 5. All right. And then this x minus 5 reduces with this x minus 5. So we just have um, a minus 2. All right? Let's see. Uh, that's got kind of way too many of the wrong brackets there. Oh, there we go. Um, so let's do this. All right. So really, we can co actually combine these here. So we get x minus 5 times x minus 5 and minus 2 is x minus seven because these are all in the same parentheses here. Alright, so that's what we end up for end up with for this one. Alright, on the next example here, we've got x plus two squared plus two x plus four. Now if you'll notice we can actually take a two out of both of these terms here. So we're just going to leave the x plus two squared alone for now. And then Again, we're going to we're going to factor a two out of both of these. So, put the two out front. Those reduce, and we get x four over two reduces down to two. And so now, if you'll look, we can actually reduce it even farther. I mean, factor it even farther because now we both of these terms here have an x plus two in it. Okay, so I'm going to factor the x plus two out of both of these, and that's going to take care of one of those and so we still have x plus 2 and then this x plus 2 and x plus 2 reduce out and then we have plus 2 there so this is really just x plus 2 times x plus 4 alright next set of examples from page 19 I'm sorry example 19 from page 247 we're gonna factorize 9 minus x squared now um, the nice thing about this is this is a perfect square and this is a perfect square and there's this nice little um, formula that if you have a difference of two squareds it's going to be a plus b 
times a minus b. All right. So basically, what we're going to do here to factor this in a nice easy way is take the square root of, since they're both perfect squares, take the square root of this, and you get 3. So 3 times 3 will give us 9. And then the square root of x squared is x. There's our x and our x. One of them is positive, one of them is negative. And that also holds true because you have to multiply together to get a negative number. So a positive times a negative gives us um, our negative x squared. Okay, so again, if you FOIL this out, you would get 9, and then you'd get minus 3x, and then plus 3x, which would, which would reduce out. And then you get negative positive x times negative x, which is your negative x squared, so you get your 9 minus x squared. Okay? B is also a perfect square minus a perfect square. So I'm just going to take the square root of both of these. Square root of 4 is 2. Square root of x squared is x. And then the square root of 25 is 5. So 5, 5, 1 is positive, 1 is negative. Okay, That's just a nice little difference of squares problem. Okay, All right, next set of, well, next example is example 20 from page 248. We're going to factorize 3x squared minus 48. So first thing to notice is both of these can be equally, evenly divided by 3. So we factor the 3 out. Those threes reduce out and we get x squared. And then negative 48 divided by 3 gives us 16. All right? And then if you'll notice here again, we've got a perfect square minus a perfect square. So we have 3 out there. And then the square root of x squared is x. So we go x times x. Square root of 16 is 4. So 4 times 4. And again, one of these will be positive, one of these will be negative. So that's this thing all factored out. All right? All right, we're getting there. So next example, page 248, num example number 20. We're going to factorize into linear factors. Okay? So what we're going to do whoa, on these here is we're just going to um, factor these things out as best we can, okay? Which, if you'll notice, 11 is not a perfect square, but um, what we're going to end up doing is you can take the square root of 11 is a perfect square, and that gives you um, 11. So what you can do on this is still do your difference of squares. So you do x times x to get the x squared, and then again, the square root of 11 is just square root of 11. And then you can put one positive and one negative. All right? And those are our factors. Okay? <clears throat> Excuse me. Same thing here. This is a perfect square. This is not a perfect square, but we can just turn it into square root of 5. So we're going to have make these a little bit bigger because we're going to have to fit x plus 3 into the front of both of those because the square root of x plus 3 squared, the square and the root cancel, reduce each other out, and you get x plus 3. So that's why we get x plus 3 for the first terms. And then again, we'll get square root of 5, square root of 5, one's positive, one's negative. Those are our, that's this thing factorized. All right? Okay, I know it's a little strange, but we'll go with it. All right, three sets of examples left, all right? So this is just like the uh, one we just did, except for these are somewhat nicer because they're actually, again, two perfect squares. So we will break this down into two sets of factors. Square root of 3x plus 2 squared is just 3x plus 2. So 3x plus 2 go in both of those. And then square root of 9 is just 3. So that's going to be 3 and 3. One's positive, one's negative. And then you can actually simplify the 2 and the 3 here and the 2 and the negative 3 here. So you just get 3x plus 5 times 3x minus one. All right. Okay. Same thing here. 
or similar thing here. Take the square root of this and these reduce. Take the square root of these and those reduce. So we get x plus 2, x plus 2, and then on the end we get x plus, excuse me, not plus, but minus 1 and x minus 1. One's positive and one's negative. And now here's something that's important to to note is that this whole thing over here is negative, so we really need to put parentheses around this and then distribute that negative through to both of these. Okay? So over here we got x plus x is 2x. And then we have 2 minus 1, which is 1. Okay? And then over on this side, let's do this, just do this one step at a time. So we got x plus 2. And that's minus x plus 1, because again, we distribute that negative through to both. So this ends up being 2x plus 1. x minus x is um, 0. And then 2 plus 1 gives us 3. So it's just 2x plus 1 times 3. And the better way to write that is just 3 times 2x plus 1. All right? So that's how you do those. All right, next example, factorize 8x squared plus 24x plus 18, and this is from page 250, number 24, okay? Um, first thing to note here is that all of these are divisible by 2, so I'm going to factor a 2 out of all of these. And oftentimes, uh, a common mistake I see on this is that someone will, lots of people will try to factor an x out too. That would work for this term and this term, but this term here doesn't have an x, so you can't get an x out of that. So we can just take the 2 out. So we got 2 times 4x squared plus 12x plus 9. Okay? <clears throat> so um, with this one here, um, what we're going to try to do is just try to break this down as best we can. Okay? Now, this is a perfect square. The first term is a perfect square, and the last term is a perfect square. So then there's another nice little formula that we can use for that. Okay, And that says if you have um, it is x squared plus 2 times x times a plus a squared, then you will get x plus a squared. Okay, And this is uh, in the formula from the previous page on 249. Okay, So um, what we can do on this, if you'll notice, we have, um, again, a perfect square and a perfect square. So let's do this 2 times. And then the square root of 4x squared is 2x. Square root of 9 is 3. Okay, And this should be just simply 2x plus 3 quantity squared by using our formula here. Okay, Now, again, some of you are saying, whoa, wait a minute, how'd that work? Um, let me show you really quick here. So you've got, um, if you do 2x plus 3, times 2x plus 3. 3 times 3 is 9. 3 times 2x is 6x. 0 to hold a place. 2x times 3 is 6x. 2x times 2x is 4x squared. Add those up and you get 4x squared plus 12x plus 9 and that's what we started with there. Okay? That one's uh, definitely a little bit more on the tricky side because you have to somewhat know what these formulas are talking about. But basically you want to there's lots of nice little shortcuts once you find perfect square, perfect square, first term and last term. Okay? All right, one last set of examples to go over, and that's to factorize 2x squared minus 2x minus 12. Okay? And this is from page 251. All right? So, um, if you look here, this is kind of nice because all three of these are divisible by 2. So you can factor a 2 out and when we're we simplify that we have just x squared 
minus x minus 6. Okay? And then once you have this here, since the leading coefficient out here is 1, you can just do the backwards attack at this for factoring, which means to do a refresher on that here, this is 6. I say, what are the factors of 6? 1 times 6, or 2 times 3. What are the factors of 6? Since this is a negative, I say that have a difference of 1, because there's 1x in here. Okay, So the factors that have a difference of 1 would be 2 and 3. So I'm going to put x and x, 2 and 3. And you could put the 3 here and the 2 there. It doesn't matter. And then I always know that this sign here goes with the larger of the two factors. So that's minus over here and then I know that this here since this is a negative I know that I have to multiply a positive times a negative so but when I look at that I say okay that means the signs have to be different because it's negative so since this is negative this has to be positive and there's our factors okay so that was a lot of factoring but you should be able to say now that you can factor various polynomials alright um, if you have any questions please feel free to ask thanks